in Galatians, the second chapter, it says, but if, while we seek to be justified by Christ, we seek to be just as if I'd never sinned by Christ, we ourselves also are found sinners. Is therefore Christ the minister of sin? God forbid. For if I build again the things which I destroyed, I make myself a transgressor. For I through the law am dead to the law that I might live unto God. The scripture says that, that while I'm seeking to be a Christian, and if I mess up and I sin, it doesn't mean that Christ sinned or is a minister of sin, but it means that I have gone back to my old ways, uh, to the things which I have destroyed, and I make myself a transgressor. That I have to understand the devil's going to knock on the door. Even in times of virus, he doesn't um, he doesn't stop at anything, and I'm sure he's been to more homes during this virus time and tried to frustrate the dynamics of the home. But he's visited this house in a in a different way. The internet has not been working since Easter. You all know that I had a, a, a terrific time. And the hours that I've spent online with the internet supposed to be provider uh, is so frustrating. And you talk to this one, and you you know the you know how it is. Uh, if you're talking about this phone number, punch one. Uh, if you're talking about tech problems, punch one. Uh, if you're having this kind of problem, punch three. Uh, if you want to have this kind, of, if you're having this kind of a problem, punch four. Now, we're having high volume, so wait about 10 minutes and we'll be with you. And then you get with them and you go through all those things. Is this you? Prove it by your name. Prove it by your uh, phone number. Give us your social security the last four digits. Uh, whose name is it in? Blah, 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 blah. And, and you spend about 20 minutes finally getting to a human. And then that human sets promises they don't keep. And so you wait two or three days for those promises to be kept and then you do it over again. And then you wait two or three days and you do it over again. And you wait two or three days and you do it over again. Today I spent an hour and a half listening to that music boing, 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 and got nothing accomplished. The uh, schedule that they had to come to the house today, they canceled without calling me. Here's my point. We all go through aggravating, frustrating things. A and what the devil is hoping to do here is that while you're seeking to live a justified, I'm just as if I had never sinned. I'm justified. I I'm clean in here. A and I'm trying to live for Christ. So Satan will use anything to cause you to go back and how did it say it? To build again the things you've destroyed. So you have to really watch yourself and you have to really call upon the name of Jesus and you have to, even when you have to be very firm and, and have to say, no, this is not what you said. You are not keeping your word. No, you have not done what you said you would do. And you do need to do better. You still need to not sin. Wow. You need to not become so frustrated that you sin. I don't think it's humanly possible to not be aggravated by such things as the happenings in life. But we need to be sure that we sin not. Be angry, but sin not. Don't let your anger go down, the sun go down on your anger. Um, to treat people as you want to be treated. Uh, even when we're calling attention to something that's aggravating and frustrating, we still must be Christ-like.